overlays. When making an overlay and using an image as your base or creating some kind of base from color sources and different patterns and whatnot, most people tend to use an image as their background for their overlays. Use Photoshop to cut transparent holes in them for different things like game footage, your cam, different little widgets and knickknacks and things like that. Recently, I wanted to add a video as my base and then figure out a way to cut transparent holes in it for game footage. I scoured the internet and looked for quite a long while and I couldn't find a solution to my problem. After many long scouring hours through pressing random buttons and DaVinci Resolve and Blender, I have finally figured out a way to do it. And I'm going to show you how to use a video as your base for your Twitch and streaming overlay. All right, let's get into it. You see here, this is a small example of what I'm talking about. The image or video in the background, I don't know why I use quotations. The video in the background is currently playing and looping in the background as my overlay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add a source here. There we go. Now the display capture right now is taking up the whole deal. We're gonna move it to the very bottom. And as you can see, now when I move it around, that is a transparent hole cut out of this currently playing video for my overlay background, which I think is really cool. And I couldn't find any information on how to do it on the internet. At least I wasn't, maybe I wasn't looking hard enough. I don't know, but I'm gonna show you how to do it here today using DaVinci Resolve 18. All right, so now that we're in DaVinci Resolve, this is the video in question that I just showed you completed with transparency. And now we're going to go ahead and render this out. This is a logo of my channel that I made in Blender a while back. It's just a snort snippet, a, a snort, <laughs> a short snippet of my video here that we've gone ahead and taken out. And we're going to go ahead and turn that into some sort of an overlay. So you're going to add your video here from your files in the media bin. Take whatever video you want. Um, just make sure it's pretty good resolution. We're going to go over to the edit page. We're going to drag and drop it into here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can get it. And then we're going to start right at the beginning. So you really don't need to do anything from this point in the edit page. You could just, you know, drop it on the cut page, whatever you wanted to do to put it on the timeline. Go over to the color section. And as you can see, we've got our video up here. And you're usually going to be met with this view right here. You have the hue, saturation, and luminance all down here. To get to the section that we need is the window section. It's the circle with the little dots. So we're going to come in here. We're going to grab ourselves a square. It's going to add a square right up here to our viewport. We're going to move it to wherever we want to start our area. So we want to start our area, make our overlay. We're trying to cut it out, right? That's what we're going to do. And we're going to go ahead and grab one of these little white dots down here. We're going to go ahead and move it down. Now it moves whichever way. There's not like a straight axis that you can cut it on or move the square to. But if you look real close, you can see the pixels become kind of jagged. And whenever you move it around, so you can kind of figure when the line becomes straight in your viewport, you can see that the pixels are aligned and they're not jagged. That means you got 100% straight. We'll move it out right here. You can move it out all the way, however much you want, however big you want your hole to be. Um, like I said, just for the, just what I said, get the pixels lined up. We're going to move it right here just so we have half and half here of my logo image and move it right there. So now we're going to come over here to this area. We're going to go ahead and right click, add alpha output. That's going to add this little blue box down here. And from our window box right here, we're going to click this blue square, hold, drag it over to here. And what happened? It did the opposite of what we wanted it to do, right? It kept this as the video and made all this the background, right? So we're gonna wanna come down here, back to where we selected our little square and click this button right here. It just selects the outer. So now we have the inverse, exactly what we wanted. The background here that we can make transparent and the video here that we can have running in the background. So now the most important part of this is we're gonna go to the deliver page. And I'm just going to type this as just like sample. Um, we'll keep that there. So the format you're going to do QuickTime, the codec GoPro Cineform, 
and usually you'd be on U Y U V 10 bit. But the reason is you'll see in just a second, you want it to switch it to RGB 16 bit and see export alpha popped up. If we go back to Y U V export alpha isn't there. Export alpha is what we need to make this right here. Transparent. We'll go ahead and click that set your revolution resolution to whatever you want. Um, and then we'll go ahead and add this to the, let me get rid of the renders. Go ahead and add this to the uh, render queue. Then we'll go ahead and click render all. That's gonna render real quick. And now I'm gonna meet you over in OBS where we're gonna select it as a media source. And I'm gonna show you that it works correctly. Click okay. And for some reason, it made it really big, really big. We're gonna come over here and drag it over here. And now, oh, where is me? Me is gone. There I am. And so now, as you can see, we have the video with this little deal right here. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my cam. And we're going to go ahead and hide me once again. As I move my camera. Hi. There I am. Oh, I'm gone. And there I am. And I'm gone. And there I am. <laughs> So as you can see, we've got this transparent box here that we can go ahead and just resize anything we want to. And you can, you know, you can put a border on this later. We'll stretch this out a little bit. It's not ideal, but okay, stretch it out. There you go. We can just move this around like that. Move it around, whatever you need to do. And you can put your game footage in there or whatever. I just thought I would show you guys how to make you know, that transparent box in a video. So you can use this background for your, you know, Twitch and streaming overlay stuff. I looked for it for a long time because I couldn't figure it out. The internet couldn't figure it out. I finally figured it out. I just wanted to show you all that today. Have a great day. Bye.